Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools this week. The job I'm doing this week right now is the Craftsman table saw. It's, it was, well, I tried to leave, I did about not even half of it right now. And I was trying to leave all the rust in here just to give you an idea of what I was dealing with. The whole saw was covered in rust. Really should have got some before pictures before we really got into this. But uh, what I wanted to cover this week was how do you go from a fence that looks like this for a craftsman saw, old craftsman saw. Yeah, you can see how rusty that was. To a fence that looks like this and works like that in locks, of course. This was a bit of an overhaul job, so I want to show you what was involved with what happened here because obviously I had to brush it down, clean it up, and I've added these side boards here to make it the fence a little bit fatter but this is also a sacrificial wood which we can run up against the blade when we're doing something really tight it just gives the fence uh, some more weight and some more features plus of course the fence now slides back and forth really nicely and keeps uh, the 90 degree angle here onto the table to the blade that we really need and I haven't even finished cleaning this up yet but this was something that was really upsetting so I was like you know what I'm gonna do the fence so the first thing we had to do, let's take a look. So the first thing we had to do on the Craftsman fence was to get it straight this way. And by putting, measuring off the blade and also by checking this with a speed square, I was able to determine this was out of whack and she was actually on a little bit of an angle. So we loosened these two screws up, clamped everything in place until we got the perfect 90 off of these, like these wells right here. And then, locked everything in place with clamps and then tightened these two bolts up really good and that way the fence is now it now has the perfect you know it's at 90 at all times so we're not i just hit the microphone it's at 90 all times so now we're right where we want to be within reason and it, it still pays to check your fence there's always a little bit of slop in these things anyways before you you know lock it in place kind of thing and that's got a nice lock, so I like the lock on it. It's working great, which I'm really happy with. Yeah, this this was a yard sale special. This was, uh, I think it was $20 at the time. She was in pretty rough shape. But uh, the bottom, I've already sanded the bottom all down, stripped it, repainted it. I decided to go with gray, because for me, gray is more of the old vintage Craftsman than the black, even though this saw Originally, I believe it, it, it came black like this. The whole saw was black. Even, even this piece here was, was black. That's not what I want to talk about, so I'm off topic. I'm sorry. Let's, let's get back to the fence. So anyways, so here's the fence. And what I wanted to show you this week was how you do, how do you, let's see if I can get these off now. I did a pretty good job on these. But how do you deal, how do you add this to your fence? So. A lot of uh, even newer saws, besides this one, will come with these. And let's see if we can get these off. And when we come back, hmm. All right. Jeez, I really did a good job on this. Okay, so let's take them both off. There we go. Yeah, so there's the there's the basic fence after I've refinished it and sanded it down, painted it all. Uh, I had to fix the hardware here. Still haven't fixed this the way I want it, but right now this is not going to bother anything anymore. It's it's out of the way, and even with the new wooden pieces on there, it's not running into them. And so wood coming by this way against this uh, fence with these wood pieces I have added won't be a problem but the question really comes down is how do you add those wood pieces in with these crazy slots and you can see there on both sides there's three and you'll see how it's got the big hole for the head of the screw and then it locks over here obviously it's pushing this way same as your lumber going through the, the saw would be going in the same direction so these are never going to really get out of line or, or get loose or something on it at least they shouldn't so how do you do it because here's the piece that come off of there on this side and you can see there's three screws but how's it done and a lot of people 
a lot of people aren't bored with all the information. So a lot of a lot of times, you know, we don't know everything. So this is uh, I thought was uh, something that was worth talking about today, and is how is it done? So it just so happens I have some scrap lumber and a pencil, and I'll show you how easy this is. So here we are. Uh, we've painted and cleaned, like I said, all this up. And what we want to do is end up with a board that has three screws in it that lock in to these uh, slots. So to get them, I guess we're going to start with a pencil. And what I did in specifically with this particular uh, fence was I laid my board out underneath it and squared it up against the bottom here because I don't want to get any lower than this because I don't want to make contact with the soft surface. I want it just a hair above. There we go. I'm showing you this on the uh, woodworking bench here just specifically, but uh, and this is just a piece of scrap wood to indicate what that would what you'd be doing. Because you're gonna do this from this side, you're also gonna be doing it from this side. So let's just do one side. And that way I'll just give you an idea as to how it works. And when I bring this up, I've got this all nice and squared up and in this case I'm just gonna lay the lumber up so it's about the same and even with the bottom of this metal fence that way we're nice and square that way now the simple trick a pencil so using a, a pencil and this a sharp pencil would even be better this is a nice dull one and uh, we'll go down through the hole because that's gonna go right through to the other side of where the wood is and I'm gonna feel that whole thing there and kind of scribe out the uh, situation here. I'm just going to try to make a nice big baddie old circle. There is some better ways to do this but this is like just a cheap shot. You don't have to have any special equipment. So there you go. I've made a really nice mark and you can see now the screw needs to be right there in the center of that circle. And what you could do at this point which again this should be a thicker board is Put this in the drill press if you want it really, really straight and drive the, a, a really small drill, like a 1 8 or something, in here first. Just start it up just a hair into the wood a little bit to give you something of a really nice reference point where you're going to start your screw and you want your screw straight down in, of course. And so after you've made this, this side, you'll just flip it over and do the same thing with the trick with the pencil because all you're doing and just so that you guys can see it the pencil is just going straight through to the other side on the same spot and duplicating that same situation and do the left side then do the right side or do the right side the left side doesn't really matter that much but what you'll end up with is is this kind of a pattern where you have some screws now when you tighten the screws down you want to leave a little gap between the head of the screw and this lumber because you want this nice and tight against here to lock in anyways so this is just a simple way to do it now looking at this I can tell right now because of where the screws are that this piece goes like this on this side of my fence and it goes back together and as you can see got it forward and it's locked and it's tight now uh, we'll do each side anyway that's you know it, it, it it's it's just it's pretty easy but you know a lot of people uh, have a lot of trouble figuring out how the heck do you do this where you know I see this nice smooth fence there's screws in the back of it there's these things here but where's the screws now if this is not working well for you you can even reach through with a screwdriver at this point and you could tighten the heads down a little bit more until this piece goes in really snug and do the same on the other side and then assemble the two pieces it's a step thing but it's not you know it's not hard uh, this piece here actually is feels a little bit okay it's, uh, I can't even move it so yeah it's on there pretty good and tight it's, it's snug you know good enough for what I'm doing and when I say sacrificial I just mean that I can put that almost virtually right up against the uh, saw blade and it will be cutting into this wood a little tiny bit but it'll give me a pattern if I want to cut an edge where I want to run something through kind of like a router idea where you're just taking you know the very edge of the board off of something so there you have it uh, just some basics on how to put these on one of these old fences uh, even this nasty <laughs> nasty old uh, fence from a craftsman saw you can see there's this there's again the slots and 
when you take your pencil and you can see the slots are on both sides they're lined up so you take your pencil and you just go right through in order to get that that mark and if you do it right uh, it would be really nice if you could find a pencil that's fat enough so it would just go straight through and you could just sort of make a really tight circle because you want it as accurate as possible because let's face it the screw heads are going to go through these holes and then it's going to slide over to lock in and so that's just the secret of okay that's how that's done all right now uh, some people might just worry that these things are going to fall off when you're running some lumber through well because they come forward to lock when you're pushing your lumber through you're dragging against this which <coughs> isn't locked right now <coughs> it is now uh, when you're dragging the lumber through obviously you're pushing the same way as what locks this into that fence so theoretically these are a, shouldn't fall off vibration whatever shouldn't be knocking them off but the other thing you want to do is make sure that you're just a hair off the saw on the bottom which as you saw I used the bottom metal to center these and this is not even a good set I really want to make a nice set for this uh, fence this was a uh, shelf that I thought had the plastic coating because we used to have shelf boards with plastic coating and cut those down for this particular job because then you have a real nice slippery uh, coating of plastic on these on the shelf board and your board would go through really smooth and it was it was it was a nice feature I can't find that plastic coated shelving right now <laughs> so I bought these this piece here was just an old shelf board that I picked up and it was like nah it's, it doesn't have the proper finish that it should have I could wax this I guess and make it work but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll find the plastic coated shelving that I was looking for. This is a scrap piece of whatever, so we're not going to worry about that piece. So, guys, thank you again this week for watching Coffee and Tools. Normally we shoot uh, Monday and we film Thursdays and put the film out. What happened last week was uh, we had a terrible tragedy in the family and it kind of put such a damper on things that I really just, I, I couldn't, I just could not film uh, what I was doing in the shop this past week. Uh, it was a little bit too much for me. And I'm having to try to, I guess you could say, let the wound heal a little bit so I can get past that. Uh, do not want to talk about it on the show, that's for sure. But it was a, it was a tragedy within the family. And I guess we all have, uh, those various types of tragedies that occur in a family and so I wanted to move on past that and get back to what I enjoy which is filming and showing you guys some of the crazy stuff that goes on in my uh, garage <laughs> week to week <laughs> this is the man cave oh man and uh, the next thing we want to do too is uh, this does not fit this saw it's this is uh, about 72-ish or something. These will fit saws that are a little bit newer than this particular model. So I'm gonna make an adopter. You and I are gonna make an adopter and we're gonna make this thing work so I can get those old hand, or at least the one old handle and get it off the saw. So when I raise my blade up and down, I can just use this, uh, use this little guy. I really like these, these are pretty cool. Next time. Uh, right now, that's how to do your fence. And again, thank you for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Bye.